It is time for the streets of San Antonio to get lit. That is right. <laughs> it is Fiesta Flambeau time, 2016 style. We're going to put a big lit bow on Fiesta. The perfect way to round it out. This is the absolute, the, the crown, if you will, of all the parades because it is so unique. And we're sort of in the opening ceremonies, getting things going, coming down here in front of the Alamo. Let's go live to our Adam Kasky, who was out along the parade route with some of his many tools. Hey, Adam. I don't have it. We can hear the crowd, though. Yes. You can right, hear we know the he's crowd. down there They're somewhere because he just uh, fired his confetti cannon up here and uh, hit us. So we know he is preparing and that he is down there. I got to tell you, I love getting down here early, and we got to walk through this crowd a little bit and visit with some of the people who are from all over, not just San Antonio and South Texas, but also all over the world, That's Alaska, the Canada, part. all over. And uh, you can hear the sirens starting. That means the official beginning of the Fiesta Flambeau Parade with the motorcycles from the San Antonio Police Department, the Traffic Motor Division. This is how we kick the parade off each and every year with some of San Antonio's finest. We have to give a lot of credit to these guys during Fiesta. You see them all throughout downtown working extra hours, putting extra manpower uh, on their force just to keep us all safe during this wonderful celebration. And you can see the appreciation from the crowd as well as the traffic division. These are officers from the traffic division as they roll through. And this gives you a pretty good idea of what we're striving to do tonight. We want to take you more than just what you can see from the grandstand. We want to take you almost inside this parade, on the floats themselves, right street side as these uh, San Antonio officers roll by. That's our goal for this Fiesta Flambeau Parade live here on KSAT 12, is to take you inside the parade itself. And you know, that's what's really unique for people who, who get not only that front row seat, but right here at, in front of the Alamo, it's kind of tighter quarters than what we're used to, but that's what's fun about it, is that in, in past broad, broadcasts, we've been further down along Broadway. This way, people are, the crowd's right up here with us and uh, with the officers that were popping some wheelies and, there. And by the way, inside that vehicle that you just saw there, the Tahoe, is the San Antonio Police Department's 2016 Fiesta Events Commander, Deputy Chief Roy Waldhelm. He's responsible for the San Antonio Police Department security plans for all of the Fiesta events. A very important, <laughs> a very important event. And the police officers also having fun as they ride by on the bicycles. Some of the uh, bicycle cops in downtown San Antonio. I'm sure Deputy Chief Waldem has been extremely busy over these last 10 days, making sure that everyone is kept safe, that there are enough traffic officers out there to handle just the the amount of traffic that we saw coming to the parade tonight was intense. A lot of people I, packed in downtown here. I, I cannot get over the fact that we are sitting directly across from the Alamo tonight to do this scene? parade. We have the best Actually, It's just perfect. I know. Actually, you have the best seat in the house <laughs> at home. And uh, we've got a pretty fine one when you're right across from the Alamo, right in the heart of this beautiful city of San Antonio that we love so much as we bring you the 125th Fiesta. And that's what's so unique about being here. We're right here in front of such a piece of history, and we're celebrating history tonight. Not only just a, a fiesta, but a really commemorative one as well. Let's go live now at Streetside. I think we have Adam Kasky with us. And uh, all right, now you've done something special for this Flambeau Parade. Is that correct? I have. I've done something very special. Last year during Flambeau, there was a lot of confetti going, people popping the confetti poppers, cascarones all over the place. And I thought, you know what? There's got to be a better way to do this. And there is. Introducing the Canyon de Kasky Roan. Totally homemade um, of PVC in a ball joint and a bike pump to pressurize the air. So before I shoot it, we're going to let. Uh, yeah, the Adam, I want to tell you this is, the, th by. this is the color guard from Joint Base San Antonio. Texas Joint Base San Antonio Joint Service Color Guard consists of eight personnel, four of which are from the Senior Military Service, the Army, and the remaining four Navy, Marine, Air Force, and Coast Guard from the other services. That's what you saw just roll by there. 
And all of the parades here, there is such a military presence, yeah. and that's what I, I love. You know, we are Military City USA. It's our chance as a city to come together and to celebrate them, too, and to say thank you for all that they do. Absolutely. And uh, um, as I'm looking, we got a little lull. So now I think we can go back <laughs> yes. to Adam Kasky and talk a little bit about the uh, Kasky Roan. Did I say that right? Well, the Canyon de Kasky Roan. But there's a 100% <laughs> chance of it raining confetti this evening. <laughs> and one of my goals was be, to be able to reach out and touch Spreester and Myra from the street. And I can. I tested it. But I've got a pumped up crowd here ready to get blasted. Viva Fiesta. That's a oh, fired there's up, more where that came from. That's a oh, fired yeah. up group right there, Adam. I've got to tell you, earlier I was uh, waving to them from our podium up here, and they asked me to dap, so I dapped. So them. you did. You did. I did. And Adam, I'll have you guys know, Adam has his confetti stored in Pringles cans. He has a bunch of Pringles cans up here stuffed with confetti. Earlier I thought I was getting a snack. But no, no, it was just confetti. Well, you so there's keep, a lot more where that came from. You got to keep the confetti fresh. Oh yeah, absolutely. He's recycling, <laughs> actually, from, from yeah. what I can tell. Yeah, there it is. There you see it right there. <laughs> That's how I reload. Just pour it in. Little uh, muzzle loader here. <laughs> Tamp it down with my stick. Pressurize it and pop goes the confetti. We're going to have a lot more fun with this throughout the evening. Make sure everybody's nice and drenched in confetti. There you go. It's stuck in every hair and everything. Yeah, as they should and we'll be. And we'll light it up later. As okay? they should be. Yes. All right, thank you, All right, Adam. Thanks, Adam. We right now, I believe we have uh, some marchers from the San Antonio Rodeo and Livestock Show that are just passing by our podium here Another at, uh, at the Alamo. Another big San Antonio favorite. Yeah, it's the Public Affairs Committee and Miss Rodeo Texas, Nikki Woodward are part of this. Of course, the Stock Show and Rodeo has grown to be one of the largest and most prestigious events in San Antonio with more than one and a half million visitors entering the grounds each year. The 11th consecutive year, the San Antonio Rodeo voted by Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association or the PRCA, the large indoor rodeo of the year, and that is saying something. Yeah, and, and also the amount that this organization contributes to kids across Texas through scholarship funds and uh, help them reach their agricultural goals, $12.2 million. And wow. here's one of the parade, here's one of the floats from the uh, oh, look at Rodeo that Association. Now that is nice, and now I believe that is Miss Rodeo Texas along with the big, you know, that's that's more than a 10 gallon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, See? check out those chaps. I love it. I love it. That is great. Miss Rodeo Texas, Nikki Woodward as the San Antonio Rodeo and Livestock Show float rolls by here. The first float of this parade and now the San Antonio Professional Firefighters Association. Yeah, President Chris Steele, Vice President Byron Williams, established in 1918. The San Antonio Firefighters, 1,600 members strong. And they're bringing the party, along with the fire truck. Oh, yeah. Always really neat to see these old trucks. Tonight. Yeah, I could be wrong, but I think he wants them to get up. <laughs> <laughs> the San Antonio professional firefighters there as they stroll by. And when you think about the firefighters, of course, you think about the more than one million people that they serve and that they keep secure and safe. And not Again, only do they serve. members of the union going by with it various flags. Yeah, they also, they support a lot of great causes. Uh, one of the, the the most known is the cystic fibrosis tower climb that happens every year. They're a part of that. All right, this is a special moment in the Fiesta Flambeau Parade you're about to see right now. It happens every year. We're going to bring it to you live. This is the University of Texas Longhorn Marching Band under director Scott Hanna. 
the show, band, show band of the Southwest, the marching band of the University of Texas at Austin, founded in 1900 by a distinguished professor of chemistry. And listen to this crowd react. Now, traditionally, when they get to the Alamo, they play, I believe, the Yellow Rose of Texas. So let's listen into the reaction and listen to the show band of the Southwest from the University of Texas. Great backdrop that is, as you see the Longhorn Marching Band walk by. And this is Flambeau's 68th year, and the Longhorn Band has been Flambeau's lead showcase band for the last 68 years. playing the eyes of Texas in front of the Alamo. That is something they do each and every year. I have to say, who's ready for some football? Doesn't it get you in the mood? It just, it just, it just seems there's something right about the University of Texas marching band playing in front of the Alamo on Fiesta Flambeau night. I mean, the backdrop of the Alamo playing that song. It's Texas. It's Texas. It's truly Texas. Whether you're a Longhorn or not, that gets you. True. One of the historic moments, for sure. All right, uh, San Antonio Police Chief William McManus. There he is, walking next behind the University of Texas Marching Band. Of course, the San Antonio Police Department founded in 1846, a year after statehood. Chief McManus oversees a department of more than 2,000 sworn officers and more than 800 civilian positions. San Antonio Police Chief William McManus, and again, his family. I believe that's his son that's walking alongside of him. They have three children. I think his wife, Lourdes, and uh, the other two children were actually in the carriage that was behind him. And then I'm guessing this is some of the chief's command staff uh, in some of the units that are behind the chief as he walks along here. Following the University of Texas marching band. It's nice to showcase some of the people that you see all the time on TV, in interviews, on the news. Have the, bring them out of the, into the community and, and let people just interact with them as, as they're doing as he walks along the parade route. Yeah, absolutely. And, but that's something that, that Chief McManus traditionally does. I mean, he likes to get out and be in the community. He's a big advocate of community policing, so it makes sense that he would get, get off the carriage, not ride in the carriage with his name on it, and just sit and shake some hands as he uh, walks along here. And speaking of chiefs, I believe we have San Antonio Fire Chief Charles Hood now coming along in one of the historic fire department's engines. There's the chief right in front in the uh, front seat of the engine. There you see there him. There he is. 2014, Chief Hood appointed to the board of directors for the National Fallen Firefighters, the first African-American fire chief in the history of San Antonio, more than 30 years in the fire service for Chief Charles N. Hood. 
And perhaps a little known fact, he is an honorary base commander for Lackland Air Force Base. And I see, think those are uh, members of his family also riding in the back of that fire truck. Do you know one of his sons played football at the University of Arizona? I did, did not you know, know that? that. No, I and didn't. actually had a professional tryout, I want to say, with the Baltimore Ravens. So, wow. talented in and of his own right. I believe that's the oldest son of San Antonio Fire Chief Charles Hood. And what a beautiful truck, all lit up. Perfect for Fiesta Flambeau. Absolutely. This, another Fiesta favorite. We see them all throughout this city celebration performing the U United States Air Force Band of the West from Joint Base San Antonio Lackland. We are Military City USA, so our military plays such an important role not only in our community, but in events like this that bring the entire community, no matter what side of town you live on, bring us all together. Absolutely, and of course, we want to say Commander's Captain Rafael F. Toro Quinones, Flight Commander's Second Lieutenant Christina A. Muncy, and the Drum Major Master Sergeant Darren Zergowitzki from the U.S. Air Force Band of the West. And next, the Fiesta Military Coordinator. You were talking about just how big a role the military plays in San Antonio. So, of course, it has a big role in this Fiesta Flambeau Parade. Lieutenant General Daryl Robertson, Commander of Air Education and Training Command at Joint Base San Antonio Randolph, and his wife Cheryl in this carriage. Yeah, they make their training mission for the First Command to touch the lives of nearly every Air Force member. Over the years, more than 25 million students have graduated from AETC training and educational programs. Of course, AETC, Air Education and Training Command. You have to thank all the cheers from the crowd. It's, it's our way to say thank you as uh, the military rolls through here tonight and takes part in this fiesta tradition. Absolutely, and we are so thankful that you are along with us live here on KSAT 12 as we take part in this tradition that is the Fiesta Flambeau Parade, the largest illuminated parade in the United States of America, and it is a lot of fun, and it is a party. Look at the kids. They're That's having the such a great time, and we are just getting started. We're going to have more coverage of Fiesta Flambeau when we come back. <laughs> 